Now that we've seen the basic elements that go into making a one drop, let's take a look at how I can make it inside of Ableton. Now you could use any MIDI drum machine that you want, Ableton's drum racks. Today, I'm using one by Native Instruments. It's inside a contact and it's called Studio Drummer. I have the session kit loaded up. Pretty authentic sounding kit. I'll just play some pads right now on my push. Now you could play it by hand and record it in, but I'll show you a way that you could go ahead and just draw the notes in if you've never really made a beat like this. I'm gonna start at a slower tempo at 70 beats per minute. I'm gonna double click and make a blank MIDI clip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and figure out where my drum cells are. They should be around C1. Here it is right here. Here's the kick, rim shot, and a closed hi-hat. Now what I'm gonna do is change the grid to quarter note. I'm gonna hover my mouse right in the middle of the grid and change the fixed grid to quarter note. Now based on what Junior was showing us, we can go ahead and put a kick on the second and the fourth quarter note. I'm then gonna reinforce that with the rim shot. So we'll put a rim shot, that side stick right on top of the two and the four. For this beat, I wanna try making a 16th note pattern hi-hat. The hi-hat is located right here on this note. I'm gonna right click and change my fixed grid to 16th. Now, there's a few different ways I could do this, but one cool way to do it to get that velocity like a real drummer would play is you can start by just drawing a couple notes. Hover your mouse over the second one and hold your command key down and it will allow you to change the velocity. So I'll make this one a little bit lower. I'll make it 70. Now I'm going to take my mouse and put it under that second hi-hat and click and drag up and over to select. Now that those two notes are selected, I'm going to hit command D to duplicate. And you can see that it copied not only the note, but the velocity. Now I'm going to hover over the two copied notes, hold down command, and I'm going to change the velocity a little bit more on these ones too. So they're different than the first two. Now I'll take my mouse and click and drag up and over to highlight those four notes. And now hitting command D, I'll duplicate it until it fills out the whole pattern. You can make it have even more variation by duplicating the loop to make it twice as long. I hit this duplicate loop feature and I'll come here to the very last hi-hat and using the up arrows, I'll move it up to an open hi-hat sound. Let's hear what our pattern sounds like the way it is right now. Okay, that last open hi-hat, the last open hi-hat needs to be a higher velocity. We had changed it to a low velocity. So let's hover our mouse over it. Hold down command. You can see it's only 49 on that velocity scale of 1 to 127. Let's go ahead and make it about 120 or so. Strong. Now it should sound better. Let's try it. And the cool thing is, because this is MIDI, if I want to change the tempo and make it faster, all I have to do is change my speed here. I want to try this faster now that I like the pattern and speed it up to 85. All right, I like the way this is sounding. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Try making your own one drop pattern with your favorite drum kit.